I think we can all agree that teachers have had a tremendous impact on each and every one of us. When I was 11, uh, my dad passed away from complications of injuries he suffered during World War II. That left uh, my mom as a single mom with three rather rambunctious boys. I see my mom here in the audience tonight. Uh, but it was natural for us to look for role models uh, along the way. And I was fortunate enough to have a, a role model uh, in, at Spalding High School, my shop teacher, uh, a guy named Richard Flies, who was from this area. He sparked my interest in the, in the trades, uh, something that has inspired me my whole entire life, and he treated me as though I was somebody special. In high school, I took uh, college prep classes in the morning, uh, vocational training in the afternoon. I was in machine trades. And then that led me to, uh, to follow in the footsteps of my mentor, uh, Dick Flies, and uh, I received my teaching certification in uh, industrial education at UVM. Did my student uh, teaching at uh, U32 and then decided not to pursue that and life again uh, took another turn and I went into business. I went into the family construction business. And my uncle, uh, he, uh, he financed the business over a 20 year period. We had to pay him every single week for 20 years. And we had a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of worries about making payroll, a lot of worries about where the next job was coming uh, from. But it gives you that sense of building your foundation. It made me the person I am today. About 20 years ago, I didn't have a political bone in my body, had no interest in politics. But I started complaining more and more about what they then were doing to me in Montpelier. And I thought, instead of complaining so much, maybe I ought to step up. Maybe I'd be a part of the solution, which I've done. But today, after uh, 10 years in the Senate, uh, six years as Lieutenant Governor, uh, I can say that uh, part of the reason that I got into politics to begin with uh, was my frustration and there still lies a lot of frustration here today. And I think we can do better, we can change Vermont and move it in a different direction. And I'm here to offer my solutions as to how I would do that. So thank you very much again.